Hi, I'm James and I'm one third of Trading the Market. Chances are you've heard of people trading the horses and trading football markets. However, there's another market that can be just as lucrative. Tennis. There are many strategies we can use for trading on tennis matches and we will cover all of these strategies in the future. But in this video, we're going to teach you, in my humble opinion, the best trading strategy. Lay the favourite. Tennis is a sport that often gets overlooked by bettors outside of the big four Grand Slam events. The Australian Open, the French Open, Wimbledon and the US Open. While these events do provide an excellent opportunity for tennis trading, the lay the favourite strategy that we are about to teach you can be pretty much used all year round. Think about that. Get this tennis trading strategy right and you can be making steady profits throughout the year. So now you're asking yourself, how is this possible? The men's ATP tour runs events consistently throughout the year. The women's tour, the WTA, does the same. Traders have realised the potential of this and have been trading tennis on the Betfair exchange since its inception in the early 2000s. This might sound like a lot of competition to some, but there's more than enough to go around. In fact, the more people in the market means the more chance you'll have of getting your bets matched. This is just a snapshot of the day's tennis available on the Betfair exchange. As you can see, it's very popular. Even without any of the big name players, events are matching tens of thousands of pounds, getting up to six figures in some matches. So, it's pretty clear tennis is a great sport to start trading on. Probably, the next stumbling block to get you started is thinking that you need to have a great insider knowledge about the sport. Is this true? Luckily, the simple answer is no. With the simple tips that we're going to teach you, it's possible to start learning about the markets rather than the sport itself. However, knowledge is king, as the adage goes. We want to put ourselves in the best position to make money. With this in mind, we recommend that you read up about the day's tennis ahead, and definitely about the match you're looking to trade on. With a wealth of stats, information and supposed insider knowledge floating about, knowing where to take value can be a daunting task. So here are a few tips you should be looking for. Rankings. While not always an indicator of who will win, this is a good starting point to get an idea of what kind of matchup is in store. A wide difference between the two usually correlates to who the favourite is going to be. The first round of a tournament will normally throw up a fair few mismatches. Form. This is where we can start to get an edge and build a lay the favourite trading strategy. For example, a high ranking favourite is in poor form and is up against a similar ranked player who is in red hot form. This presents angles for us to take. It's also important to note the surfaces being played on. Different players prefer different surfaces, just something to be aware of. So how do we trade this strategy? Pre-match or in play? It's entirely up to you. As long as the favourites odds are short, say decimal 1.05 to decimal 1.4, before or in play shouldn't make a difference. I personally like to trade in play, but if the odds are extremely low before the match starts, this represents a great avenue for us to take. The positive thing about this strategy is that your liability is small, but you can win a significant amount of money. You choose a tennis match where the ratio of the favourite is 1.4, you place a bet of £100 on the favourite and your liability is £40. The lower the odds, the lower your liability is. As I said before, I like to lay the favourite in play, so I will usually look for matches where it's quite even between both players through the first set and there is no real clear favourite. Once one of the players has won the first set, I will then lay that player. With the match being even through the first set, there is a good chance the second set could fall to the newly crowned underdog. This will then result in a nice profit from our trade. Software While software is not completely necessary to start making your first tennis trades, it does make it a lot easier. Software programs like BetAngel allows users to view the market in a much more organised way. It also refreshes the odds at a faster rate, meaning you can get into the market as quickly as possible. They also have many more features that make trading more functional. This is worth looking into if you are serious about making money with trading on tennis. You can also check out the BetAngel Academy website where you will find many free courses on how to use this software trading in tennis matches whether it be lay the favourite strategy or numerous others such as back the server and many more. With this application, you can also use the practice mode to hone your trading skills without risking a penny. The software also allows you to automate your tennis trades, so you can sit back and let BetAngel trade for you whilst you go about your day. 
In future videos we will show you how to automate many different tennis trading strategies to make your experience even easier so keep an eye open for these. So let's get stuck into the Betfair exchange and show you some real examples of this strategy in action. So as you can see here, this is Marie Benoit versus Sri Lanka. It's the first set and I have laid Benoit for £200 at decimal 1.02, which leaves me with a liability of £4. This is why I love this strategy so much. For such a small risk of £4 to have the chance to gain a significant chunk of the 200 if the trade goes our way. The first two games were quite even so at decimal 1.02 to lay the favourite is a no brainer. All we need is Sri Lanka to win this game and go on to gain a decent lead in this set and the odds will drift on Benoit and leave us with a trade out profit. So simple. And if Benoit takes the initiative we have only risked £4. Peanuts. So here we are as you can see Lanka won the game and the price for the favourite has drifted to decimal 1.09 which leaves us with a trade out profit of £5.71 and this is only after a few minutes. Easy money really. It's up to you how you go about trading this market, whether you take the profit and move on to the next or hope the underdog continues to play well and keep winning. For a risk of £4, in my opinion it's worth sticking with it and seeing where it goes. Now in this particular trade, I let it run and Marie Benoit came back to take the set and go on to win the game, which resulted in a losing trade and a loss of £4. So we shall move on to the next one. Right, in this next match, and forgive me for ruining these gentlemen's names, it's Wham or Juan Muna versus Marco Cicinito. Cicinato? You know what I mean. Before the game, the odds were very close, and as I previously mentioned, I like to trade in play and watch how the match goes and wait for a player to take the first set and then lay them. Munar has taken the first set, so I've laid him for a stake of £100, which leaves me with a liability of £40. Three games into the second set, and Cicinato has taken the lead by two games to one, and has the advantage now in the fourth game. And Munar's odds drifting from decimal 1.4 to decimal 2.02, .02, resulting in a trade out profit of £29.30 as it stands. So we'll take that, thank you very much. So having only been in the trade for 10 to 15 minutes, this is a great return on our trade. 31 pounds and some change. Boom. Now here is the graph for Munar showing his price from the start of the game being quite even to dropping dramatically over the first set win and then drifting as a result of falling behind in the second set. This couldn't have gone any better so I'm really pleased with that. In summary, laying the favourite is a tremendous trading strategy. Very low liabilities for potentially significant profits from being in a game for a short period of time. This can be repeated on all types of tennis matches and there are more than enough tennis matches throughout the year to trade and make profit from. You don't have to like the sport to trade it. I myself have never had a love of watching tennis. I've always been a devout football lover, better and trader, but have grown to enjoy watching it. Whilst trading it and the vast amounts of money to be made from such a simple strategy is not to be sniffed at. I know there are a vast amount of videos and examples out there already on this subject, but I thought I would share my take on it and how I tried to trade this strategy in play. I hope this video has been helpful to any newcomers and given an idea to those already trading it. You may already trade it the same way I do or slightly differently. If you have any tips or tricks or ways to find matches easier, why not drop them in the comments then we can all benefit together. I've been James, this is Lay the Favourite Strategy and we are Trading the Market. Happy trading.